Oh my God, Saif. Yo. She looks so much better than the when I saw her on TV a week and a half ago. Very quickly, I heal up. <laughs> I heal up. I quickly. mean, even on the show, the healing was a little too fast. No, <laughs> she saw a little bit of. It wasn't like. Come on now. It's television. All right. She has, it's week to week. It's television. Will you introduce, introduce yourself to the Hot 97 world? Hey guys, this is Margot Bingham from Boardwalk Empire, aka Margot B. Mm, 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 mm. What is that, Saif? Um. Uh, love her character on the show. Okay. So far from the hallway to walking back here, love her in person. Yeah. Very talented. <laughs> uh, very beautiful. Thanks. We are big fans of the show. And you have a big role on the show. I do. Yeah, are you I like, do. So is it exciting for you? Okay, so like we're at a point as fans of Boardwalk where, you know, it's late in the season and you're like so entrenched and kind of obsessive as fans. Like, oh my God, it's going down. Yeah. Does it feel that way for you? now watching the show play out or is it just like very far removed because it was a long time ago when you shot it etc i mean i don't get anything other than my scenes so when you guys watch it on sunday is the first time that i watch it on sunday so i have no idea what else is going so on so you've seen your parts no i haven't even seen my edits oh really nothing. no nothing so like the first time that you guys watch it is the first time i watch first time it. You're watching so it. i have like viewing wow. parties at my house with my girls and we like sit and get wine and and you know some snacks and we sit down for boardwalk time and then you know and then you're like oh and and then are, are you constantly surprised about what was used what wasn't used oh yeah and like even moments that happened with other characters i was like damn you know like it's it doesn't you don't i don't know like the like first you don't get episode the whole script no the first episode when dunn shanked that dude with the bottle yeah that was crazy i didn't know right. that, that was gonna happen there was so much blood but you know, I know that it's fake, so I can actually like not be squeezed by that. But it was I'm glad fake. you know it's fake. <laughs> yeah. Because if you were on the show you know, and thought it was real. Right, that would be a little bit Whoa, weird. Yeah. Yeah, I, I might be a little strange. Yeah. Um, th this is an amazing season. I mean, it's it, this show is like, you happen to get on a show during like, first of all, this is, as I always call it, the golden age of television period. Right. And this is a show that is at the pinnacle of greatness yeah. in that it's golden It's the Roaring age. Twenties. Yeah. This is the Roaring Twenties. This is 1924 and 1925. This is the Roaring Twenties of that era, and it was incredible. And the music during that time, and just alone, just for this season, to have hierarchy within the same races, it's incredible. Like, that's one thing that people just don't realize, that there's not just racism, there's racism within our own race. Yeah, and it's something course. that you know like there's a lot of black entertainment being exposed this year and a lot of directors and writers and producers True. and actors coming up and out and it's it's great for that for for that particular culture but it's it's also nice to see the difference between not just like the exposure of black uh, entertainment but also like the exposure of of the the hatred within that same realm because it's true yeah. and that's still real just like racism is still out there and we still got to do a lot and we still got to come really far it's still within our own backyards it's still within like our own communities and it, that's a major thing no 100 percent. are you um biracial or are you biracial black mom white my dad. dad's jamaican and my mom's german and russian dad yeah dad hold on Good dad's job, jamaican mom's german you? Is that your pops? No, that's my manager. Wait, you, you just asked because he has dreads. You just asked if he's her dad. That is mad racist. There's a guy with racist. dreads standing behind racist the camera. Against. Now, also, you're gonna have to deal with your own. Dead. You're gonna have Sorry. to deal with your own racial ish that I find interesting, entertainment wise too, because you're a black actress, but you are not on a black show. Yep. Um. So, like, your fan base at first, I'm guessing, I'm not saying it's gonna be necessarily predominantly white, but it's certainly a different like the way the way black entertainment is structured mm -hmm. people are fed the same people over and over again in certain outlets right. and a lot of times when black actors get their start on places like HBO and AMC i feel like it's a different path to being known in the black community uh, as opposed to coming up doing something else it kind of is i agree with you to a certain extent because i'm also coming from music so majority of my audience is black because i do soul music so that's it's it's kind of been trying to get on other people for like to get hip to my stuff so i'm coming in in a different route than right. just the normal actor route this is kind of like the dream role you know to have the two leading things that i love in the world together in one particular 
uh, venue and I can go in and do it every single day, both, like that's incredible. Oh. So I don't just start out with acting that was that was not really, so I'm, I'm literally coming in with the mix of not right. just acting and singing, but I'm coming in with the mix of both backgrounds and different and different veins and different people and different communities. So I kind of I, I kind of have like a little bit of a do leg you up. Search I think. for um, roles where, with singing, or would you do it if it was no singing in it? You would still do it. I'd right? still do it. Yeah, I studied acting in school. I love. I I just really love you know both equally. It's just this just so happened to be an acting role with some singing. Where did you go to school? I went to Point Park University in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. In Pittsburgh, PA. Yeah. Where in Pittsburgh are you from? Um, I'm from the suburbs. Which one? Up in the city, like South Hills. Word up, word to Big Bird. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Sorry, word to Big Bird. You know where that is? No, I oh. don't. Um, I was just gonna try to dra- name drop the place I know, Squirrel Hill. Cool. Shady okay. side. Used to teach there. Really? Yeah. They're in really nice. Uh, Pittsburgh is a really underrated city on in terms of beauty and like. I'm not saying what it necessarily brings. I'm not saying it has a pop in, a pop in scene for yeah. uh, music and arts, but it does have some beauty to it. It does have a lot of arts. It has a lot of jazz. Like really? Lot, yeah. Really, really great musicians come out of Pittsburgh. A lot of great poets come out of Pittsburgh. But um, oh, Wiz Khalifa. Wiz Khalifa. That's my boy. <laughs> We, we love we, we love Wiz. Wiz. We're just saying the context. Wizard though. Khalifa. No, Wizard. and other other Mac, Mac Miller, other Mac beautiful Miller. poets like young Macalicious Miller. I really strive to be like that young man. I know. Well, you need to get your tattoo doing. game up. Hey, by the way, I noticed a. Um, I don't know if this is coincidental or if it's just a decoy to get people off your back. You do have a ring on your left hand, fourth finger. I do. Are you engaged or married? Uh, no, I'm not. That is just a decoy. I just no, blew your cover. No, it's literally just because it, <laughs> it didn't it fit on that finger. No, you can't. I'm just telling you. I'm sorry. You can't just randomly throw f- rings on your fourth finger on your left hand. No? No. That's like, is that like an unspoken golden rule? I think it's sort of spoken. It's a social construct. We wear this, and then that way, when a dude's trying to holler, he can look at your hand and know whether he should holler or not. You know what's messed up is when I do wear this, more guys talk to me. That is foul. That's a me little too. bit foul. So if you more dudes, more dudes, dudes, stay talking to you. So then it kind of like weeds out the scum. You know, I'm like, oh, right, scum, cool. So that way, what you, but then you have to turn around and go hit on someone else because they didn't hit on you. And then they're like, yo, who is this married chick trying to Or just go home and just be happy that I'm not with scum that's hitting on me. That's one way of looking at it. Hold on. Easy does it. Because later, (laughs) I was hoping to maybe set her up with someone. (laughs) Who? Not you, Shawnee. Ebro. Why? Why would you do that to her? Because I e- like her. Why would you That's set her up with Ebro? Well, well a Saif, I know we don't like to hear this, but ladies find him handsome. The, the guy you were talking to in the hallway with yes. the beard, mm-hmm. do you find him attractive? He's attractive. Would you want to go maybe have lunch with him? I mean, we'll talk about that off air, Oh maybe? my God, there's a chance though. Stop it. Sorry. She's blushing. This is matchmaker, but I do have to, I, okay, this is, I'm going to tell you like a little something on the DL. I do Please. have to tell you something because it's, it's kind of funny and I think it's funny, whatever. So I was on OkCupid. Uh oh. Love this. True. Love this. And match.com. Maybe, um, you know, <laughs> yes, was, um, the only thing that I wasn't on was Jew date and like J date. Yes. It sounds weirder when you say Jew date. Well, I mean, it's <laughs> where, just because it it, it a, a lot of people don't know that J date is, is really Jew date and it it's is. really just like mothers talking amongst the selves, you know? So it's, um, thank God my mom didn't put me on that, but it is your mom uh, Jewish. I'm, f- I'm fully Jew. I'm a Jew. Oh, really? <laughs> This just got crazy. <sighs> the love just got deep. It was already there. You're full Jew. Bat mitzvah. Oh, oh, this is real now. And it's worse though. Mazel. Was that a Jewish thing? Like tapping your hand like that? Well, t- that was a little Jewy. It was a little Jewy. Like, oh, that was a Jewy. That was a Jewy move. It was a Jewy move. I mean, it just makes me. I mean, I have the Jew for all too. No, you like- do. But like, you don't understand the joy I get when I uncover a black Jew. It, it's... Uh, Whew, this is good. This don't is good. Don't cry, man. No, I'm not gonna cry. Don't but cry. Tears are coming. Out. The problem yeah. is, though, the problem is this helps Ebro. Ebro's half Jew, also. Uh oh. But well, he doesn't identify the way you do. No okay. bar mitzvah. Well, soft. So I was on OK. <laughs> so I was on OK Cupid and Match.com, and recently uh, I got a message on OK Cupid, and it said dot 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 Margot Bingham exclamation question mark, and I well, looked what's on your this, name on there. 
it's it was like, like B music or something. Oh, okay. Like I thought I was being smooth. Yeah. Clearly not. Like no. my picture. Got you. Whatever. So I look on this dude's web or site, like profile site, and his favorite show is Boardwalk Empire. I was like, oh crap did he now did he Found. ask did he do anything or just say margo bingham he just got really excited and i was like delete profile why why delete because i just got freaked out i was like i can't he, all I can't he did was this. see you on yeah. tele you're on a national he tv show he say right crazy and like still we got a date everybody's still a person so oh yeah let's move backwards why were you on these dating websites? Because it's like, it's hard to meet people in this industry. You don't know who's really real and who's not. And I don't want to date someone that I'm working with. And You are on Broadway, right? Mm -hmm. I heard backstage of Broadway is disgusting. Just an F fest? Yeah, it's just... You're it's not, not a, it's not that bad but no but it's it just is, like cause but I do, a lot of people do meet each other in shows and they do and link they, up and then they stay together for like but a some lifetime people don't like a power couple but all some people they hook up with someone on the show don't stay with them then hook up with someone on that show or another show and, and then, then it's it gets like, messy and then it's like a, a small circle of people i mean you, date. you have to think about this like in a movie or a tv show you fall you have a love interest you fall in love it's really passionate it's really intense it's real and you try to believe that it's real but then the, then it's over then filming is over and then you're done and then you move on to the next project in theater you could do that show some people do shows for 10 years right so you're living in a passion a and a love wow. affair for 10 years eight shows a week it's really hard not to think that that's real when you yeah. were on when you were in rent did you have a love interest yeah and was there anything? No, we were just, I mean, he was like my boy. And nothing, we, did you make out in the show? Mm -hmm. Every still, night. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> I'm trying to understand that, I know. We're safe, we're never going to make good actors. <laughs> Let's be honest. Every time if I ever made out with someone, I'd like walk on and be like, I think I have a chance. <laughs> No, it we really would we happened. would like we would totally like screw around too. Like we he sorry like <laughs> like we would mess we would mess around because I would get him uncomfortable. Like he would try to like say things on stage to get me uncomfortable and break in front of a crowd. And I was like really like there's like Got you it. know 500 people here. And then he was he actually there were a couple of people that were not going for my team that I that I would have to kiss mm. that we're not batting for for my squad for your, oh well that's easier though isn't it it was easier for me but harder for them because they weren't oh, they going the in wanted you. so like right they didn't they didn't want this uh, at even, all so. even a fully gay man would want to make out with you margo i refuse to believe anything otherwise and they have and, so. they, and they have and those are the best well look at your boyfriend on boardwalk he was a gay thug on the wire he was so he's all over the place. And wait, hold on. And I just realized now, knowing that you're Jewish, how upset I am about the life that you're living on Boardwalk Empire. What are you talking about? You're getting, she's getting beat up by Dr. Narcisse. Just because I'm Jewish, though. She's a, well, before I was. I was getting beat up before, but now I'm getting beat up. Right. Yeah, it's really bad. Just now it's real. Now, and, and, and now, and now this year, let's be honest, a bit of a home wrecker. And I have to I am say, a home wrecker. You are. But in all fairness, in real life, Chalky's wife, who plays Lenore, is my best friend. What? In real life. No lie. No. Michael K. Williams' Michael wife. Michael K.'s wife. Is your best friend. On the and show. on the show. The chick that plays Lenore. Oh, with oh the on family. the show. Oh, Chalky's wife. Chalky's wife. Oh, I thought you meant Michael K. Williams' wife. By the way, no. this is an awesome thing for me to find out. Because you know when you watch TV shows, for us who aren't on shows, we just watch the show, we know it so well. Yet there are basic characters whose names I don't know. Right. Because you don't hear them very much. Like Lenore. Didn't realize yeah, I didn't that. even know her name. I'm Natalie Watchin. That's her act. That's the actor's name. Yeah, I don't she's, know any of dope. Chucky's kids' names. No, any of them. Man, they're all. I mean, they're they're all cool. I would have enjoyed her out. name being Lenore do, so much more. Do the black <laughs> actors? Hang I love out more? Lenore. Do the black? No, do, it's all mixed. It's all. It's a big old mix. But because you only shoot your scenes like what you're usually in the club on Boardwalk, or mm -hmm. really that's it, or the apartment with Chucky. Yeah. And, like, you have to be, like, around. Those are mostly the only people that are there when you're There's shooting, most, right? Yeah, but, I mean, like, we do, like, a couple of the girls on the season, like, the, the chick that plays Harrow's wife and um, Van Alden's wife, we hang out. Like, we do, like, they come to my shows, and people are very supportive. Jeffrey comes to my shows, Jack Houston comes to my shows, oh, and Michael dope. Kay, and a bunch of the other people. And, like, you know, they've all come out and support me, and... Um, and like the girls do, we, we do hang out. Like, you know, everybody's really cool. There's so many people that are so crazy talented with no egos on that show. And we just, 
we like to hang out. We like to be around each other. Is there anybody you totally don't know at all who's on the show? And like you watch them on the show and you're like, damn, they're good. I wish I even knew them at all. Uh, Lucky. Lucky. Lucky Luciano. Yeah. Never really see him at all. I I saw him at one reading once. And I was like too nervous to talk to him. Because you already love the show. Because I love the show. Yo, how weird is that? Like, how psyched are you when you get a gig on a show that you think already yeah. is amazing? It's the fourth season, right? It's the fourth season. We just got so, renewed for the fifth season. So you, you watch just... all three seasons beforehand. You're a fan, and then you get the call. It's weird. How was the audition? Was there other people? I mean, there were hundreds of girls Anybody, that like, for that, that we would know? Because um, we were talking to Lauren London, and she was saying, like, black actresses have a tough time in Hollywood because they'll... Go for auditions and they're and kind of new. Everybody. And like superstar black actresses right. are in the room for the same role. Right. I and mean, it's, like, it's a very, it's limited, limited casting, yeah. unfortunately. So it's like a lot of my girls went in for that role. And when they found out, everybody was really supportive with me and they congratulated me. But I knew a lot of the girls that went in. There was actually one girl that came down to the final callback with me. It was like the three of you us. Her? I didn't know her, but I was talking to her right. in the bathroom. We were right, both getting right. ready and she was doing her she's makeup. She's trying to pick your brain. She's trying to pick my brain. No, but she was so sweet. And then I said to her, I was like, I was like, man, well, good luck. I hope you get this. And then I realized and i was like wait a second no no, no. <laughs> i was like no no, no. <laughs> i'm a fucking liar i'm just kidding <laughs> i don't want you to get in there well, I hope you well I, yeah you should say i hope you do well right or, good, luck good luck to you well that's bad luck right <laughs> saying good luck isn't that bad luck i don't know you I can say break legs break legs do, do you guys really do that on Broadway? Do we really break legs? No. I mean, people say break a leg. Do we isn't throw it? pearls downstairs? Yeah, like and try to trip everyone. <laughs> and <then> it's weird. <laughs> um, you know what I really like about you? What? I don't know that I've met... I've met black Jews in my life, right? Yeah. But your mix of black and Jewishness is really impressive. Like, you are a black woman. If I saw you on the street, I'd be like, that's a lovely black woman in my Thank brain. You. But you're also legit bat mitzvahed Jew. And go to I'm, evening services. How often? Fridays. Bullshit. At six. No lie. All right, now you're almost too you're a Jewish. Liar. Now you're too like, Jewish. I'm like, I'm like not Jewish. I'm like Jewish. <laughs> you're not Jewish. You know, people are like, oh, you're like, are you like Jewish? <laughs> and you're like, like, no, bro. I'm Jew. I'm a Jew. What do you get? How is the, um? we talk about race a lot on our show, as you might be able to tell. How is the old racial reaction in doing Jewish stuff as a black Jew? No one really believes me. I used to teach at the JCC. Like, I'm for real. And I remember I had this, I had this like, younger um, class, and <laughs> this little Indian girl was in my class. And they were, like, two-year-old and three-year-old. And, um, and this girl comes up to me, and we were talking about Hanukkah. And, you know, like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? And they're like, Miss B, what are you going to do? And I was like, well, I'm going to celebrate. I'm going to go to temple. And this girl comes up to me and she's like, but you're brown. Oh, man. <laughs> Racist. Wow. But, like, you and know. She was but Indian. That's, and she's Indian. You're brown. But <laughs> that, brown. I was like, but you're brown. No, but I didn't say that. But that's what I was definitely thinking. But it was, but it's just like that simple, like, very, you know, it, very true and genuine reaction like you know no one thinks that that i would ever be jewish but there's definitely ethiopian jews and you no, know listen I, I let me let me try to go back in the recesses of my brain being at synagogue and seeing uh black people at synagogue what my thoughts are because it's happened over the it's years like but i'm like imposter <laughs> no i don't think <laughs> imposter uh, i'm like i'm like someone get them right no i'm like they must be robbing this time yeah i'm like what do we have here that they even right. want <laughs> did they steal their well, should make sure the show bars haven't been tampered with but no i'm like uh I'm, two jokes yeah yeah <laughs> you don't even know what a show far is you're over He's your like, head ha, son ha, ha, ha. um no but it's like it's a horn it's oh, a ram oh, horn. Like the horn. The ram horn. horn that was, right. that was like. I like it. Yeah. If I was to call out, if I, hold on, are you are you Jew enough to mock the shofar sounds? Um, I do every single holiday. It's a joke between me and my brother. What like 
pretending to do it. Yeah, because he'll he'll just be <laughs> he'll just kind of sit in temple, and this is why we can't go to synagogue as a family. Because then the cantors are singing. The we don't have we don't have gospel choirs. We have like cantors, and they're like, ah, and it's like always like really intense, you know. But then there's some that are very beautiful. But then our synagogue growing up, it was horrible, and the voices were just horrific. I don't yeah, some and cantor then, voices are some bad. cantor voices are just bad and old and bad, and it just sounds bad, you know. And it's like, oh well, you're Jewish, and that's why they hired you, you know. It's just like. <laughs> This is yeah, yeah. You know, it's like kind it, of affirmative action. You're, yeah. You really just got put on exactly not because like, you right, not because not that's what I think about affirmative action. But in synagogue's case, I, I sure. Do feel that way. But Sorry. it's but yeah, the the ram the the ram yeah. Can you hit Tikiagudola? That's the big one right there. <laughs> no, that that was that. That's like it the ho- no, holds out forever. Tikiagudola. Yeah, Wait, that's all yeah. from the horn. It's from the horn. So at the end of Modest at, Yahoo, if you're listening, yo, Modest Yahoo's not up. orthodox anymore. I know. He cut his... I saw him the other day. I was like... Cut his stuff off. Everything was gone. He's just like I regular Jew it. now. Regular dude. Yeah. Wait, so you really yeah. go Friday nights to services. Why? I try to. Because I just... You know, like, in, in all seriousness, like, I'm Jewish, but I do believe in all religions, and I think that spirituality is beautiful, and I think religion is beautiful if you have something that makes you feel good and that you can kind of come back and center yourself. My father is Baptist, so I grew up with all accounts of religion, and I made sure that I studied everything, Hinduism, Buddhism, Is everything. your dad religious at all? He's very religious. As a Baptist? Very, very religious and very conservative. and um, and Conservative politically? Um, just like is your father, my or your yeah, stepfather? my my father, my parents father. are still together. Oh. But um, just because she black, you think her father's gone? I think yeah. she's she a black father. You think what he's I got, off? This is what I this is what I read. Your father's Jamaican, your mother's Russian Jew, mm-hmm. and you're so Jewish. That he wasn't around. <laughs> right, right. No, I get it. I get no, it. No, my dad actually used to come with us to synagogue, and I would go to my I would go with my dad to church. How I was you, very, I was always very interested you identified in religion. More with the Jewish side, um, just because I, you know, like that was something that my parents instilled in me. But I think that it's important to to have your kids follow something to That's set nice some of kind dad. of ground. But at the same time, like I made sure that I knew all religions because I think that there's things in Judaism that I don't agree with, and I'm I believe in myself as more of a spiritual person than a religious one. Yeah, but I still I still like I like the rituals and I like the the um you know like yearly things that we do i like the dinners like I, I i like having some kind of like family ritual that i know that we can come together and everybody can just spend time we are and love the same other. kind of jews my friend i'm the exact same i love those things about it I, the religious part of it meh. yeah but there's the, like some things that i just don't agree with yeah i just don't and i just i don't get my belief system necessarily from it but the holidays, the family camaraderie, yeah. the parts and, that I are mean, nice. I mean, just like Christmas is special to a lot of people. Like, there's Christmas is one of my favorite holidays Sorry. because of just because of the ritual of it. Like, my father and I sit down and we watch a Christmas story, or we watch like a series of like. I remember one year we watched Planet of the Apes. It was like all on, you know. Like, we just watch spend time together. Yeah, we spend time. It's a time for for family bonding. And however I can get that, I'll take it. My family's very close. Does your father uh, speak patois? He can once once he talks to my grandparents. You, what about like, your grandparents? It's like he's off the boat. Are your grandparents? My grandparents are, sound like they never left. And they're here. Yeah. And where they in Pittsburgh too? No, they're in like Florida and Connecticut. So hold on. So on one side you have European sounding Jewy grandparents, mm-hmm. and on the other, Which are pretty much all they're all gone though. Oh really? Mm-hmm. They're all gone. So my mom's side is is really all gone. Everybody left Germany uh, right before the Holocaust. But they made it here, presumably. You're they alive. made it to Connecticut, but yeah, she said before. But the bef- so what happened to them now? That but they just died. But they've they've died. They passed. They passed. And your but then on your other side you have straight up Jamaican. And I have so much family in Jamaica, but I've I've never met like the hundreds that are. Have out you there. been down there? Yeah, I went down there once. God, what an amazing life you lead. What about that weird sort of connection, that cross section life of like. Jamaicans, the, like the Rastafarian Israelite, Egyptian, yeah, that's where you should go. Jew. Have you ever considered dating a black Israelite? No. Oh, no. we can find some for you. They hang out in Times Square, yeah, and they yell about how women are evil. Fantastic. Evil. That sounds like right up my alley. Yeah. No. No. Totally. Guys, hook it up. Hook it up. Hello, please, Shawnee. Hello. Can you go find some black Israelites for J-date. her, please? J date. Shawnee, not you. Not you. Damn. 
Sorry, Shawnee already has three children, at Shawnee's, least one wife. He's as black as Chucky Holla. White, so it could. Holla. <laughs> she does. She does. Shawnee, you do look sort of like Chucky White, in a weird way. So be truthful. <laughs> uh, does that mean you want to marry a Jew? Uh no. You're fine with my, whatever. My parents made it work. If as long as there's love there, I don't really care. Your mom got your dad to, to go with the bar mitzvah, the bat mitzvah no, and stuff. I think the I dad was like, off. "Go ahead." You need more. He was like, yo, easy. Take it. Everything smooth. No, my, my parents were just always cool. They were just always like best friends. They've been best friends forever. And they still nice. are. Does your dad smoke ganja? No. <laughs> all right. All right. What? Is that racist? No. no he's just getting into a realm. He doesn't at all? No. He's a he's a religious man. No. Oh, he would so never. Do that. Is that what about rapper? your mom? No. Are you against? You seem very against ganja. No. <laughs> All right, Margot Bingham, ladies and gentlemen, we've learned she is uh, a very talented actress and singer. We didn't even get to the fact that you have a new single out. There's no single out. There's she no single out. out. I thought I we were sent, album out. I thought it's, we were sent a the song. The single on the album is called Complete. There is a video for that. It's on my website, margotb.com, M-A-R-G-O-T-B as in boy, dot com. I like it. And like the it. album's available anywhere album right now. The album is available. Amazon, CD Baby, iTunes, margobeat.com. And people can see your shows. If they go to your website, you have your shows on there. Yep. You can check out where I am in New York. Um, you going to play soon? Back up in January. And I'm planning on having a pop-up show somewhere in December. So make sure you check my Twitter feed, which what? is margobrsvp. Mm-hmm. And she is willing to date blacks, Jews. What about a non-black or Jew? Trees. What? Would you date a, just, would you just date a straight-up white man? No Jewish affiliation. Listen, if you can make me laugh and you're nice, cool. You got a chance. Let's talk. So any nice know, guys. Yes or no. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, Was real it? quick. We got to leave. But just, <laughs> are you being loyal to Chalky or mm. is this all a trick? Yeah. Is this a Dr. Narcisse trick? Yeah, what's going on? Or this is getting, now it's getting serious. You just said that we have to bounce. <sighs> I need, I mean, I don't trust you on the show. Well, Not no one you, really then, does. And like for all of my Twitter I followers mean, out there, like easy on the words, people. Yeah, yeah, get, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, they, it's people a don't show. get mad at you on real life. Oh my gosh. I'm sure Twitter's crazy. Hey, don't lie. I want you to be honest. Do black people get more mad about your character on the show than white people? Because I have a belief that sometimes... People are still like like obsessed with The Wire. So people still think that I'm messing with their man. Oh, that's Omar. even double crazy. This is double crazy. Double crazy. So it's crazy. I mean, she did put First the of all, knife it's a show. His name's back. Second of all, it's not The Wire. It's Boardwalk Empire. Okay, there's two different things. <laughs> And I mean, you number three, chalky. like just watch the rest of the season. You left Chalky out there a long time. And I don't time, write it. Though. I don't write no, it. No, you know I what? Just, those, I just do my job. You handled your biz. You stopped the car with your hand. I did. With the and that wheel was on real. your neck. And there were and there was, were lots of cuts and bruising that went into that filming. Really? Yes, because that stopped was the car with Because there were there was literally bodies in my way of jumping over that car oh, seat. Oh, oh, you mean in the yeah when she flips right, over right, the right. seat oh, and yeah, pushes yeah, yeah, on the yeah, brake yeah. with her. Yo, that scene yes. was so. I just want to say one thing. Don't say anything because you're not allowed to tell us what happened. Sure. But I was just having this conversation with Chris Webby. They were saying, Lo my friend Los was saying that he thinks Chalky's going to get it, going to bite it. I feel like if Chalky was going to bite it, he would have bought it last week. Because eh, what's the point? That was the perfect setup for the surprise to die. You okay, think he's getting out of town and they get him in the Nucky car. Chalky is, is tricking Dr. Narcisse when he made the deal with the heroin? I don't know. We got to go. You're awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> Good luck with the rest of the show. Thank you. We're going to find you a good Jewish black man. Hey, holler. Holler.